everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and this is going to be one of those preachy videos that I know a lot of people don't like, but I still feel like it needs to be addressed. And you can see from the title of the video, it's called You Don't Know Everything. And that's true, because we don't know everything. But for some reason still, on YouTube, I see a lot of YouTube creators and a lot of people in the comment section who act like they know everything. And that bothers me. And this really kind of came to fruition uh, the other day when I posted a video uh, breaking in my new Kimber 1911. When I posted that video, one of the problems that I was having was is that as I was taking my shots, my thumb right here was kind of pushing up on the safety just a little. And this is honestly one of the lightest safeties that I've ever had on any of my guns. Uh, even 1911s that I've shot in the past, they have a little bit more of a, a stiff safety, and it was kind of popping up on me. Well, in the comments section, I gotta be honest, it was kind of overwhelming. In the comments section, people were saying, hey, put your thumb on top of the safety. Now, here's the thing. I had never heard that before. I've been shooting 1911s for a long time. I haven't owned one in a while, but I've been shooting 1911s for a long time. Always had my thumb underneath it. And even though every once in a while it would give me a little bit of a problem, uh, I never really thought to put my thumb on top. So when people suggested in the comments section, hey, put your thumb on top, that's the way that it's supposed to work, that's the way that everybody shoots those, guess what? It kind of rang a bell in my mind and it opened me up to the possibility that I was doing something wrong. And so I listen to your comments, I listen to your feedback, and I make adjustments when I feel that those adjustments are necessary, and guess what? My subscribers helped me. As a matter of fact, my subscribers helped me quite a bit because I don't know everything. Now, I study guns. I study guns a lot. I've been studying guns for years, and I learn, and I train, and I research. So I feel like I'm pretty read up as far as firearms go, and I'm pretty well trained as far as firearms go as well, but I don't know everything, so I have to be open to these things when you guys give me suggestions. Now, I should point out in the comment section, if you start seeing a trend that 10, 12, 13 people are all saying the same thing, you don't have to leave the 14th, 15th, or 16th comment telling me to put my thumb on the top of the safety because I guarantee I already got it by that point. You can if you want, that's perfectly fine. I am completely open to constructive criticism as long as you're not being a troll or an asshole because you just get deleted at that point. But still, constructive criticism is fine. But I see on a lot of videos where people are so close-minded that they don't think about something that might be right. I see in the comment section, uh, people will say, hey, you know, you're doing this a little bit wrong. Try doing it this way. And because that person knows probably more about guns than maybe the person they think is commenting, or they think they know more about guns than the person that's commenting, that person is completely closed-minded to anything that the commenters say. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a gun expert, I'm a professional, I don't need to listen to what you guys say because you don't have a YouTube channel. That is a bunch of bullshit. There is a guy that leaves a comment, and if you watch my videos, you'll see it in just about every one of my videos. His name is Mateo. He has some of the best comments that you'll ever see. A lot of them are constructive criticism. Uh, a lot of them are very supportive, but at the same time, if he sees that there's something that could be improved or some information that he thinks that he could just share with me, then he expresses that knowledge, and I've learned a lot from him. He is a very knowledgeable person, and I appreciate every single one of his comments. He also left the, you know, the thumb on the top uh, comment as well, uh, which I really appreciated. So in the comments section, when you see people that are super close-minded, you know, I don't know exactly how to fix it, but you gotta stop. If you're one of those people that say, for instance, okay, and here's one real controversial, controversial thing that I said years ago, and I stuck to it, I stuck to it because I'd seen it, was rifled slugs, even if they're not meant to spin, rifled slugs will still spin out of a barrel that is not uh, rifled. You can shoot a rifled slug and it will still have a little bit of spin to it. Nobody believed me, nobody believed me. And then all of a sudden this really popular channel came out, uh, Tau Flatermouse, love that guy's channel, and he was shooting rifled slugs out of a smoothbore barrel and he didn't have any rifling whatsoever, no rifle choke at all. And he painted the back of the slug and sure enough, you could see rotation. It was about, uh, I would say, in a 20 foot section, there was about a one third full rotation. So yeah, there was some rotation in that bullet or in that uh, projectile as it traveled down range. Everybody said no. Everybody was completely closed-minded. No, it doesn't have any spin whatsoever. And they weren't even open to thinking that, okay, well, this guy says there is. Let me research it or let me look into it. Maybe he's right. You know, you're just stuck in those old ways. And yes, it does have a little bit of spin on it. That's not what it's intended for, I don't think. Uh, but still, it's, you know, it's got some spin. Nonetheless, it, I, I know, again, this video is getting a little bit preachy, but I think we all need to have open minds. Even firearm trainers, okay, people who've been training for a long time have to have an open mind because there's different techniques that come about throughout the years, and those different techniques could be better than the previous techniques that have been used. You know, firearms trainers need to be open to 
what's in development out there? What have we learned from real life situations that could help us, that could teach our students maybe a different way that we're used to and we're really stuck in our ways that might help them defend themselves and help them save their lives? If you have an instructor that's completely close to things and he's still using techniques that have been developed since the 80s, you probably need to find a new instructor because things have been developed and things have come around in different holes and, and different positions have come around to help you, you know, defend your life since then. And so you want an instructor that's open to learning to change. Now, I'm not saying that that change is going to be the best, but if the instructor is open to it, he'll learn, maybe take the good nuggets of information out of that and then transfer at least that stuff onto his students. So everybody's learning. Everybody, it's a, it's a constant nonstop thing. I think with firearms, honestly, you could go for your entire life and not know absolutely everything there is to know about firearms. There's gunsmiths. Gunsmiths are the experts when it comes to actual firearms. There's ballistics experts and people that are experts in their own fields. When you're talking about something like YouTube and you're watching a guy on YouTube, like I have 70,000 subscribers. I can tell you right now, there's more than 70,000 people out there who know a lot more about guns than I do. I just show you guys this stuff, try and demonstrate it for you and show you guys maybe different ways that you can do things, how things work or new products that hit the market. That doesn't make me a gun expert. I'm not a gun expert. You know, when people write me messages and say, hey, uh, I want to know about this or what do you think about that or what do you think about this and that? If I don't know, I'm going to tell you I don't know. If you guys watch somebody or you listen to somebody in the comment section that always knows, then be a little bit wary because not everybody knows absolutely everything. It's just one of those things I, I hate to harp on it. I hate to make a video like this. <clears throat> But I feel like people follow people who have a lot of subscribers and they follow them as like the word of God and they listen to these people and what they say is absolute law. Learn for yourself, research for yourself, find as many opinions and facts as you can. So anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate you letting me vent to you. Have a great day.